Hello everyone, uh, my name is Wamid Abdurrahman and uh, lately I've received a request uh, uh, someone asking how we can uh, do the, the my app tutorial application it's an EGS++ application how we're going to do that in Windows I have uh, uploaded a demonstration of how that is done on a Linux machine but uh, today I would like to show how this is done on a Windows machine. The steps are uh, very similar. Uh, the only issue would be how to, you know, the compiling uh, compilation command, which I will uh, demonstrate in this tutorial. So uh, you can find this tutorial in, in the getting started with EGS uh, NRC PDF file. So uh, if you go there, go down and uh, uh, it's under creating uh, so it's uh, 4.1 section 4.1 this is exactly what we're going to uh, demonstrate uh, today so the first thing we need to do is to open our uh, home area so this is uh, my home area and uh, we'll need to create a folder we're going to call that folder my app So this is uh, the first step here. Then, of course, this is how it's done with a shell command with Linux. Uh, but uh, I mean, you can do it uh, this way. Uh, what you need to do now is we need to copy uh, these two files, the array underscore sizes dot h and the make file, which are found in the tutor 7pp uh, folder to copy them in in our uh, my app folder so we'll do that now go there and these are the two files that we need to copy from from here into uh, the my app folder and now please note that uh, maybe in your windows your the, the extension is not visible in your case please make sure that uh, uh, you know uh, take care of these extensions it's very very important especially when you create uh, when you're going to use uh, notepad to modify uh, these files because it automatically will add the .txt extension to the file but you need to remove that so uh, to do that I mean you can hit on the view and you can uh, properties of the view can just make sure that you have file extensions uh, clicked so that's how they will be visible when they're listed in the finder so i'm going to select these two files copy them we'll go back to uh, my app uh, and then we will paste them here then the next step is we need to edit this file make a file, the make file we need to replace where it's uh, it's a tutor 7 pp with uh, my app so and they will be found uh, we need to do this replacement in two uh, locations in the file so let's copy uh, let's copy the make file uh, sorry let's edit the make file and we will go to, we will use the, just the notepad if you have another text editor that would also be fine okay notepad and uh, if you scroll down you will find this is one location with my app and just below it there is another location my app so in the user code we, we put my app and in the XPP user macros it's also uh, we're gonna put my Mac my app and we're gonna save the file then the next step is we need to create a new file called my app macro so I'm going to copy the name and uh, in the same folder new text document and I will use that name but I'm going to remove the .txt file yes and I don't need to uh, uh, put any uh, I mean it's just a, a an empty file for the time being okay so the next thing is we need to create this file uh, myapp.cpp 
so uh, we're going to create a new file and paste the name and again I'm going to delete the .txt extension and this file we will need to edit we're going to edit it and we need to copy these two lines from here and paste them into the file and we'll save and then close so I think now uh, we can compile uh, the application uh, in Linux we just open the shell go to the uh, uh, directory my app and then we'll type make but uh, on a Windows machine, probably you have, I mean, uh, if you've watched my uh, Windows, uh, my EGS installation on Windows, uh, the command to compile is going to be different. So uh, we're going to open the PowerShell, Windows PowerShell, and now we need to go to uh, that folder. So CT, this is home and then my app and then we will use uh, we'll just compile the command by ming uh, by this command uh, ming w32 dash make.exe so now it's compiling the application and let's hope uh, we'll not get any errors So essentially, this is the only, uh, I mean, this is one of the few places where Windows and Linux uh, are different. Okay, now the compilation finished, no errors. Okay, let's go back to the document. And uh, so the last thing, so we have compiled the, the application. We need to now create an input file. So let's... Uh, go here and let's a new text file and uh, I think it, we need to call it slabs dot EGS input okay but you can't call it any name the extension needs to be dot e, uh, ex uh, EGS input but the name of the input file could be anything else okay So now we need to edit this file and we need to copy a few lines. Uh, so this is one part. Okay. And then the next page, we'll continue copying. part and I think the next page is the last part yes. okay so uh, now we're going to save this input file and now we are ready to actually uh, run the simulation by typing uh, my app and then minus i minus i so the first part is the application name minus i is uh, just to uh, what comes after minus i is going to be the input file and that would be slabs dot EGS input anything else no okay and we're going to run the simulation so the simulation now is running 
um, simulation finished now to view the results uh, we can use uh, this command here so if you notice just uh, so that the simulation actually generated some some files that has uh, the history uh, track histories and, and so on so these are are uh, some outputs of, of uh, uh, the simulation and we will paste this here and Oh, I see that uh, it says slabs. Okay, I use slabs as uh, my input file. That's not a problem. We're just going to change this. Okay, and now we get the results. Okay. So this is, uh, yeah, I think it's a simulation where uh, particles uh, hit the slab, electrons probably. And then you get photons uh, from different, uh, you know, it's just a 3D view of how photons are, Brahmacharya photons are produced. So I hope uh, this will get you started uh, with uh, EGS++. Uh, Plus Plus. Uh, this is a demo application uh, that uh, I hope it will, will, will help you to understand what needs to be, uh, uh, what sort of input files and, 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 and code, or how to compile the code under Windows and so on. So uh, if you like this video and if you like uh, the content, please subscribe and uh, like and share. And until uh, another time.